Previously, the DTFT is a mapping from a sequence to a function of a continuous variable omega from xn to x exponent j omega. Whereas DFT, discrete Fourier transform, is an important decomposition for sequences that are finite in length. The DFT is a mapping from xn to another sequence xk. The x exponent j omega from DTFD can be computed only at a finite set of frequencies and if n is a number of equally spaced samples around the unit circle with k equal to 0 until n minus 1. The DFT can be expressed by the following analysis equation where xk is equal to the summation from n equal to 0 until infinity xn multiplied with exponent negative j omega kn where omega k is equal to 2 pi k over n multiplied with n this one and in this case k is from 0 until n minus 1 so for this example we need to determine the dft of a finite sequence xn for this value 3 2 4 for n equal to 0 n equal to 1 n equal to 4 with the number of point n equal to 3 so this point number n is 4 omega k which is equal to 3 given in the question then sketch the dft discrete magnitude and phase spectrum of DFT signal XK. So using the equation of DFT, we apply the value of N equal to 3. For this one, omega K equal to 2 pi K over N, where N is equal to 3 multiplied with N. For K is the value from 0 until n minus 1. So for this question, we have k equal to 0 until 1. So we calculate the value of xk for 0, 1, and 2. And the next one, for this format of exponent negative j omega k n, we convert into this format. We have this one based on Euler's formula. And xn is given in the question for n equal to 0, 1, and 2. So first we calculate for k equal to 0. So this one is for k equal to 0. And we calculate the xk for n equal to 0, n equal to 1, n equal to 2. Based on this value, n equal to 0, n equal to 1, n equal to 2. So we have 3 for n equal to 0, 2 for n equal to 1, and 4 for n equal to 2. And then we calculate uh, the final value we convert into polar form and we repeat for k equal to 1 for this one k equal to 1 so we have 2 pi over 3 multiplied with n so here we have 2 pi over 3 for k equal to 1 and then we repeat for n equal to 0 n equal to 1 and n equal to 2 we have this value in the polar form this is magnitude and phase magnitude and phase for k equal to 1 so the next one we repeat for k equal to 2 so for k equal to 2 we have 4 pi over 3 multiplied with n so we have 4 pi over 3 we repeat for n equal to 0 n equal to 1 and n equal to 2, we have this value as the uh, answer for magnitude and phase. Next, we sketch uh, the magnitude for DFT signal xk. We have 9 for k equal to 0. We have 1.73 for k equal to 1. And we have 1.73, the magnitude for k equal to 2. So we observe that information for DFT signal xk k is cache in discrete form not continuous as in dtft so we do not have the value in between this point and this point since we just calculated for x equal to 0 x equal to 1.73 and x equal to uh, for k equal to 2 
Okay, so we calculate for x equal to 0, x equal to 1 and x equal to 2 only. So this is in this uh, the discrete format, not in continuous as DTFT. So we do not have this part, the dashed line. So the next one is the phase sketch for discrete Fourier transform signal xk. So this is for x equal to for k equal to zero, we have zero degree. For x uh, for k equal to one, we have ninety degree, and for k equal to uh, two, we have negative ninety degree. So this is uh, the DFT phase sketch where the discrete representation holds true for both magnitude and phase plots for k equal to zero until two. So for further reading, you can refer to the following subchapters in monograph based on DTFT, discrete time Fourier transform, and DFT, discrete Fourier transform. With that, thank you very much.